Hello, today, we shall see a demonstration on how to perform plastic limit test. As you can see from the picture, you need your soil sample, a weighing scale, moisture content cup, and a 3 mm thick wire, to serve as an indicator. To conduct the plastic limit, take the soil sample onto your palms, and roll it between your palms. Check whether the soil is sticking to your palm. If the soil sample is sticky, it is still wet, and you need to dry the soil sample before you can start the test. If the soil sample does not stick to your hand, then you can go ahead with the test. Now place the soil sample on the glass board and rub slowly, until you can thread it to 3 mm thick. While threading you can compare the thickness of the soil sample against the thickness of the wire. If the thickness is comparable, you can check whether any cracks have appeared on the surface of the soil, or the soil starts to crumble down. You can see from the picture the threaded soil sample has not cracked, even after threading it to the thickness of 3 mm. This means the soil sample is still wet and needs to dry even more to reach the plastic limit state. In order to dry the soil sample, gather all threaded sample and make it into a lump and rub against your palms. This will ill ensure the loss of moisture from the soil sample. Once the soil has dried repeat the process of rolling the soil sample to a thickness of 3 mm. Once you observe cracks on the surface of the soil, then the soil has reached the plastic limit state. Now measure the water content of the soil sample, by taking the soil sample into moisture content cup and determining its mass. Once the mass of the moisture content cup along with the wet soil mass is recorded, it is kept inside an oven, to dry at 100 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. After which the dry mass of the soil is determined, the water content corresponds to the plastic limit of the soil.